This is Eugene Panrudkirch. I'm the Laptop Screen Doc. And the name of the website is www.screensurgeons.com. Today we have a Dell Inspiron and a the Nancy 4110. N4110 laptop computer, also known as the Dell i14R. We're gonna sh this laptop has a broken screen and we're gonna show you how to replace it. So before we do anything, what we want to do is remove the battery and for this laptop there's two levers and you slide them outward and then you slide the battery out. Once the battery is removed we can work on the laptop safely. Okay for this series of Dell laptop computers and many Dells in general it's uh, very easy to remove the screen. The reason it's very easy is because there's no screws on the bezel. So in order to get to the screen, you need to remove this plastic frame, the bezel, from the screen assembly and then you can get to the screen. Uh, so before we start removing the bezel, we're going to go over the tools we need. We need an electronic screwdriver with a PH1 bit. bit. PH stands for Phillips and 1 stands for the size of the bit. And we also have a smaller PH 0 bit on hand just in case we have some smaller screws. An X-Acto knife with a sharp pointed blade. Uh, most likely we won't use this because there's no screw covers to remove but just in case. And a pair of metal tweezers to remove screws that are stuck. Okay, so let's get started. This bezel just snaps on and to remove it we just snap it off and there's no screws like I said. And what I like to do is put my fingers on the screen side and gently start lifting up the bezel and listen for snapping sounds. If there's a place where it's not snapping off, I go to a different spot and try there. And eventually you end up getting all of it. So go around. So we work your way around the laptop. This is probably the hardest part of the procedure. So take your time on this. If something doesn't give, go somewhere else. Sometimes it's easy, sometimes it's hard. It's really difficult to tell from the start. So once again, I go around. Sometimes what we can do is reach in on this side and this is harder but we're getting it. So what works on this one is if you also put your fingertips on the other side and keep working your way around there and finally we're starting to make some progress so the main thing here is not to get frustrated that's when things start to break so keep working your way around like so and let's go back to the bottom and even though it's this is probably one of the hardest ones that I've come up against, we finally got it. So just keep trying different things until you get it. And sometimes, uh, if you want, you can get a kitchen butter spreading knife. And when you s see the seam open, just kind of dig in with the spreading knife on this side to see if that will help. So this was probably one of the hardest bezels to remove. But we did it. Okay, next we take a look at the screen and the screen assembly. This screen is mounted by some screws that are on the side of the screen and what we want to do is get to those screens and we need to tilt the screen forward from the screen assembly a little bit to get to those screws. And the first thing we want to do 
is remove the two screws on the upper ends that hold the metal mounting bracket to the back of the screen assembly. Okay, like so, and that allows us to tilt the screen forward. And we can get to the screws up here, but not down here. And for this, I have a trick. I loosen the screws that are holding the hinges to the back of the screen a little bit. And this allows the screen to tip forward a little bit from the back of the screen assembly. And just enough for us to get to these screws down here. And the thing to do, remember, is to tighten these when you're doing your assembly once again. So there's just enough space. Actually, we're going to loosen these some more. Okay, now there's just enough space for us to get to the screws that are holding the screen to the metal mounting brackets. So we grab one screw. For each set of screws, keep them in a separate pile on the side so that when you're putting the laptop back together, you can keep track of which screw goes where. So that's two screws. And looks like we have to loosen the screws at the bottom a little bit more so to get to the screw on the side. Three. And four. Okay. Once we remove the screws, the screen is loose and we can start tilting it forward, making sure nothing is getting in the way. And right away we see that the Wolfcam cable is preventing getting too far. So we use loosen up the adhesive like so. And I think what I prefer to do is to remove the webcam altogether from the back and remove it from the back and this way we can put the screen down and then once we put the new screen in we just put the webcam with the adhesive on top. There's no screws that are holding the webcam. Okay, now that we can loosen up the screen and work on it, there's just one connector and we need to remove this connector. There's some adhesive tape that's securing the video cable to the back of the screen. We lift up this adhesive cable or this adhesive tape like so. Let's get a little bit closer. Okay, and the next step is there's some adhesive on the back of the video cable. And the next step is just to pull the connector out and the screen is off. Before we go any further, um, the biggest source of problems that I see when people do their own replacement is they don't connect this connector properly. So we're going to show you how to connect it properly. When you slide it in, you'll hear, you'll feel two clicks. And let's get a look at the close-up, what it's supposed to look like. Hope the camera cooperates and focuses. There we go. Okay, there should be no seam between the two sides of the connection. They should be flush with each other. If you see a seam there, it's not right. So pause the video right there and make sure your connection looks exactly the same as this one. Okay, so let's... Put the video camera back on, remove the connection one more time, and let's take a look at the screen. This is a standard 14 inch LED screen, and this should be widely available. So the connector is in this location, bottom left hand corner, and let's take a look at the part number. Okay, see if you can get a good focus. Okay, it's what you need to look for is LP140WH4. LP140WH4. 
Now the screen that you will receive, it will most likely be a different part number, but it will look exactly the same as this, it will work exactly the same, and this one does have a glossy finish. And also we at Screen Surgeons sell this screen also for Dell N4110, and what you get with us is free email technical support when you purchase the screen and do the installation and also we have a compatibility guarantee. We guarantee you that the screen we sell you will be compatible with this laptop. To buy a screen from us go to screensurgeons.com click on buy a screen at the bottom of the web of the web page and then there will be a short form for you to fill out and just give us the model number and we'll respond to you quickly with the link to the right screen for this laptop. Okay, and that's it. So once you have your new screen attached to put the connector back as I showed you, put the screen assembly back and put the webcam back on with the adhesive. Attach the screws on the sides of the laptop don't forget to tighten these or you break your hinges. Then I put the two screws up on top of here and snap the bezel on and when you snap it on it should be a lot less difficult than taking it off and it should be ready to go. Okay, that's it. Uh, once again, my name is Eugene Panrutkovich. I'm the Laptop Screen Doc. The name of the website is www.screensurgeon.com. Thank you and good luck.